Welcome, thanks for watching. This is my final, likely my final video for this particular learning project. I began um, this term with my students in my pre-service teachers class and it's the end of the term. On uh, Wednesday we had our student, each student did a presentation on their learning throughout the term and, and obviously mentioning this learning project which was a fairly uh, major part of it. And I have to say that overall I think the success of the project uh, varied. I think it's still a great idea. I think there's some tweaking I need to do um, in order to make it even better. Uh, definitely some of my students really learned, gained a lot from the experience. But I also think that this will be one of those experiences that they may look back upon later on when they're in a, in a particular context in teaching or in a classroom or just in life and think about uh, maybe some of the things that I asked them to sort of be aware of as they were going through this. I know for myself it's been a, a really good experience doing this publicly, you know, certainly is part of it, but really trying to wrap my head around um, the approach that I take to learn something. And the two words that have been kind of floating around is this idea of learning, and what do we mean by learning, and also play. Um, given that this year's 2010 K-12 online conference, the theme of it is purposeful play, um, there's been some discussion around that, even that idea of purposeful play. Is it, is it only good play if it's purposeful? What if it's not purposeful? Is there a difference? And I think it's an interesting, it's an interesting discussion to have. And you know, we, we, you know, we use words and terms and play with definitions a little bit, I guess. Um, but I think for me, um, when I look at the definition of the word play, I think, you know, obviously there's something there really about imagination. There's something there uh, that suggests not as structured, perhaps. Um, and that's definitely been my experience with learning the guitar. There's been lots of learning that has been, you know, me just hit. What's going to happen if I hit this chord or bang here and those kinds of things. You watch somebody like an Andy McKee who just does, completely changes the way we think about a guitar. Uh, it really inspires you to think, hey, maybe I, if, I, if I bang away at this, I'll actually create some music, some sound that's that's pleasing. Now I haven't achieved that, but I, but I think there's potential there. And, and, it, and again, it makes the it makes the possibilities uh, increase. And the idea of learning really does talk about uh, a lot of structure and specifics around um, acquiring knowledge or skills. And, and in my case, I had a lot of that structured teaching. I had a lot of people supporting me, a lot of resources that were very specific about do this and this will be the result of that. And I think both of those, both of those approaches are useful. And uh, I think in determining, um, in determining what it is that you'd like to be able to do, I think you take into account which of those approaches uh, are more, most useful. I think, I think the, the, the real challenge that we have in education is that we feel this um, pressure or stress to stress to accomplish certain outcomes in a short period of time and so in order for us to do that we tend to lean to a much more structured environment and tend to shy away from play um, as it has often unintended outcomes lots of them are very very good but they aren't part of Necessarily, we don't see those as part of our job, and so, you know, I think one of the things that we we want to explore, and I have been exploring in education, is just thinking about time and space, and how do we eliminate those? And certainly, technology has done a wonderful job to help eliminate time and space um, as the determining factor of of education and school, and giving priority to the fact that we need a lot of both of those things. We need opportunity to have really defined, structured learning that allows us to accomplish and meet certain challenges and we need the other part where we can play and explore and find things we never experienced before. So um, that's really, you know, I guess in essence what I've been learning. So I thought I would finish with, um, I guess the outcome, if you will. Uh, I started with learning the, the song Heart of Gold and that wasn't the only thing I learned from there. I, I played around with chords. I learned a few other songs that I liked, but that was kind of the original song that I began. So uh, this will be my final, um, I don't even want to call it final exam. That sounds stupid. But um, <clears throat> anyways, I'll just show you what I got so far. Got my metronome. 
try to keep the beat. Don't have a pick. I bought four picks. They keep getting lost. I don't know where they go. So, Seymour High School students, it's not because I don't have a pick. I have one half the time. I just don't know. Here we go. Heart of gold. Thank you everybody that put up with me, watched this, encouraged me, gave me lessons, made me think about learning. I really appreciate it. And I'll continue to learn in public and explore this topic more in other ways and maybe more on the, I know I'll be playing the guitar more and learning more from it, but seriously, thank you so much for um, just paying attention to this and helping me think through the idea of what it means to learn. Thank you.